Well, North Carolina is getting a step closer to justice for some as there is no longer a backlog in rape kits. Ho Jung Ru has details on that and what it all means. Ho Jung. David Courtney, according to the Department of Justice's inventory, there were over 16,000 untested rape kits sitting on the shelves in 2019. Now, about 74% of those are either tested or in the process of getting tested. The law enforcement officers here in the East say this was all made possible by enacting the Survivors Act in 2019. Sexual assault survivors got one step closer to closure, accountability, and justice on Tuesday. I became a victim on September 25th of 1992. Rape kits give the victim a voice. A voice empowers victims to learn how to heal from the inside to the outside. State Attorney General Josh Stein was joined with local law enforcement leaders, scientists from State Crime Lab, and many more for one reason. Today, North Carolina has ended the backlog of untested rape kits in North Carolina. According to the Department of Justice, more than 16,000 rape kits sat on the shelves of local law enforcement agencies in 2019. The Survivors Act of 2019 was enacted to process old kits, provide more funding, and send new kits promptly. On Tuesday, 11,841 rape kits have been tested or are in the process of getting tested, with samples entered in the CODIS DNA database. Sergeant Lee Darnell from the Pitt County Sheriff's Office says the Survivors Act had a positive impact on the law enforcement agencies here in the East as well. Made a huge difference, really set a new course for the handling and processing of evidence of this nature and um, it's been well received here. It's made a big difference. And according to Sergeant Darnell, the DNA evidence has not only been a big component in successfully solving cases, but also helping other jurisdictions' cases by entering those in the database. Reporting live from Greenville, Ho Jung Room, WITN News. Dave and Courtney. All right, thanks, Ho Jung. And Stein says now North Carolina is focusing on bringing answers to more cold cases.